So I just got back from break. It is Monday the 29th, I believe. And I just got back from break. We had to unpack and move into a new classroom. So the reason why is because they are um, putting AC in the other building that we were at. So we had to move classrooms. So now here is my brand new classroom. Well, it's not brand new, but it's new to me. Um, this is what it looks like. I have been, it's currently 3.20 up there. I have been working all day um, trying to get ready for my kiddos tomorrow because they come back tomorrow and um, yeah, I have been really busy. But you guys, it is almost, it is almost Christmas and it is my favorite time of the year. So I wanted to buy a bunch of Christmas decor for my classroom. I had some last year. I had some Christmas decor last year, but I just wasn't like, I didn't want to bring it with me because it was just really old. It was a bunch of hand-me-downs that I got from other teachers and it was just like really old. So I decided to mo throw most of it away and then just leave behind whatever else I didn't want. And so, um, yeah, that is why I bought a bunch of stuff, but I wanted to show you guys really quick, a little like, um, I guess Christmas haul. Um, I wanted to do a Christmas haul for you guys so that you guys can see what I got and where I got things from because I got really good deals. So, all right, so starting with Target, this is the stuff I got at Target. So this Keurig, that is a Christmas gift. It, I just got it early. So, but it was $50 and I'm really excited about that because I'm gonna have a coffee station in my classroom for the very first time. I got some cute little trees. Those ones were five dollars each um i got this pillow this one was a little pricey it it was fifteen dollars i mean it's pricey to me but maybe not for you but anyway super cute love that pillow that one is gonna go on my chair right over there and then i got this um, merry christmas sign for five dollars this sign for five or three dollars three dollars and then these cute little trees for all one dollar i got most of these most of this stuff at the dollar section so make sure to check them out um so these little trees were all one dollar this one broke i don't know if you can hear it i'm sad but i'll make it work and then these candles were three dollars also from target this tray is for my coffee station i cannot wait this one was five dollars so excited the next store that i went to was um tj maxx look at this beautiful christmas cup Oh my gosh, can't wait. And this one is for my K-Cups. So I got some K-Cups. Um, so that one was $5.99. This is for my syrup. I think I'm going to buy French vanilla and then pour it in there. This one was $3.99. And then this cute little plant for it as well. And then I also went to Costco. got some LED lights. And I'm going to put those up. Oh, I also got some books. Let me show you. I also got these two Christmas books because my students love Christmas and obviously I do too and I just want to be able to read it to them. I love this one. This one was $7.99 and it comes with a bunch of Christmas stories and they're only five minutes. And then The Elf, it's a classic and I love that um, movie. It's probably one of my favorite movies ever. So love that. And then the last store that I went to was Walmart. I found this little tree. I wanted a much bigger tree, but honestly, this is like the best I had because apparently I went too late. It's not even December yet. People slow down. Anyway, and then I got these little spheres to decorate some lights, a little tree topper star, some other lights for the tree, and then these K cups like I had mentioned. These are super expensive. So I knew I wanted a Keurig for the longest time and I was like oh, I really want one and someone gave it to me for Christmas and I know it's not Christmas yet but so excited about this I'm not a big coffee drinker but I do like to drink coffee coffee every now and then and then my colleagues like to drink coffee too so I'm like okay well if I if I can just have one I can also share with them so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a little station and you guys are gonna see exactly what that looks like I'm thinking it's gonna go right here but I don't know because there's like the kids will be here so I don't know if like I should just keep it away from them because the kids will come up and get like books and like whiteboards and erasers and stuff so I don't know I'll either put it here or I'll put it somewhere over here so I'm not positive yet we're gonna see also another thing do you guys hear that exactly there's no more 
loud, obnoxious, beeping noises coming from my room. I cannot tell you how happy I am. I actually became immune to it and some people have mentioned it in my past videos like why is there such an annoying beeping sound in your room like why is it coming from your classroom to be honest i have no idea i still don't know where that beeping noise was coming from in my old classroom but i never even like it never bothered me like i just became immune to it like i noticed it at the very beginning of the year but it didn't bother me it didn't bother my students it was just so funny like it didn't bother anyone else um well, it didn't bother me or my students, but it bothered everyone else on my videos. So I'm so sorry. That should not happen anymore. Um, I'm also really glad and proud of myself for accomplishing all of this. I will say I did get some help. Like someone helped me build that um, bookshelf because I needed more space here in my teacher corner, which is actually really looking awesome and then another teacher came in and helped me like move the big stuff so I'm, I'm really really grateful for that and then all of my admin like they just came in and checked on us and they were just so awesome like I cannot thank them enough for like just offering their help like that was so awesome and the fact that like a bunch of teachers had to move classrooms like sucked um, midway through the year um, but they were just like very helpful overall so I'm not even that worried about it I'm just like really tired right now and it's 3.30 so I should probably get to work so I can go home and be ready for tomorrow. Anyway, here is what this corner is looking like and can I just be honest, I really like the rug here in this classroom a lot more than my actual classroom because it's just, first of all, it hides the stains and also it's like symmetrical because it has little squares and I like that my students can like stay in their square. You know what I mean? If you're a teacher, you totally understand what I mean. But I do really like this corner of my room. Um, I knew I wanted like a lot of whites so that it can be a contrast to the wall and to just the colors going on in this room. So yeah, I'm excited. Here's the bookshelf that I got from Target. This one was $35, super good deal. Guys, I highly suggest you get them or get one. <laughs> All right, so I didn't really do much um, of Christmas here on my teacher corner, but this is super cute. I got it at Target last year, so I bet you they still have some that are really similar. And then when you come to this side of the room, I have some Christmas decor as well as our little Christmas tree, but I don't really like the lights. They're pretty cool and I wanted more of like a warmer tone, so I might get new lights. And then I have the little decorations that I wanted my students to help me with, so it's exciting. And then here's just a little bit of decor that I got from uh, last year and I'm also going to help my students help me with this. Then here's my little chair that I read out loud from and then the five minute Christmas stories and my um, pillow which turned out super cute. I don't know which way to have it but it's adorable. I love it. And then my favorite thing of all is my little coffee station. I love how it turned out. So, so excited for it. I have my little K-cups here. I have my mug and I'm ready for my coffee tomorrow. Cannot wait. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this view. It is gorgeous. This is my view on my way out. Wow. All right guys, so I made it out of work. I am on my way home and I was almost one of the last ones to leave. That typically happens. I'm very like, I'm very OCD and I find that I'm like more OCD as time goes by, which is not okay. Like I'm like a perfectionist and I don't really appreciate that about myself. I feel like things have to be like almost perfect for me to like be satisfied. But I like I appreciate it, but then I don't because most of the time I stay late um, from work And so I don't know if that's a good thing. Let me know down below if you're the same way Anyway, I'm just really grateful that I was able to finish my classroom before my kids come back tomorrow and It's great. They're just they're gonna come in and they're gonna come into a new classroom and they're gonna be so surprised They're gonna be pumped because I already put out some Christmas decorations um, And that and they're gonna be excited that they get to help me with with a with some of the Christmas decor as well it's just gonna be a good time also look at this shacket shacket is what it's called I bought it from um, not Costco from Sam's for $15 and it, it is the best shacket in the world 
you guys should definitely get yourselves one it has a sherpa inside so it's super warm i love it i'm gonna live in it like forever and also like i don't mean to like always promote materialistic things like i'm not all about um being materialistic but like i always want to let you guys in on the deals you know what i mean so hopefully you guys don't think that i'm just like materialistic like that's not the case at all um and you guys know that if I find like a bargain, I'm gonna share it with you guys. But anyway, I'm excited to go home and cook a meal and just rest up before tomorrow. Tomorrow we start the second trimester of school and then um, in a few weeks we'll have Christmas break. So oh, I love this season. Does anyone else? Like I just, I love Christmas. I love Thanksgiving. I love New Year's. And then after the holidays, it's just like, I'm so bummed all the time. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys um, some of the decor from my from not my classroom from my um, house that my roommates and I put together it actually looks super cute so I'll show you guys that whenever I get home and yeah I guess I'll show you guys dinner too if I end up making dinner who knows we'll see anyway all right I just made it home and I wanted to show you guys really quick the Christmas decor that we have going on at our house here is the dining room table look at how cute that is i don't know who did that i think it was um ashley or michelle i'm not sure but anyway they did this to the kitchen table and then here's what the living room looks like so here's our little fireplace and i love this fireplace it's adorable it's not on right now obviously but um while i was gone one of them got stockings for us so one of there's four because one of them is uh lily's which is my roommate's dog and so we used to have there used to be four roommates but now there's only three because one of us or one of them moved out so anyway this is what it looks like we also have these things down here that are old school that we need to um spray paint but we got we haven't gotten to those and then you come over here and you see the this little gnome these trees <laughs> it's a little random over here um we have a random gnome here that just like always wants to um just be on the floor for some reason but it's supposed to be above our peephole but it's just not staying so um but yeah we have lights around our door a little like throw blanket basket and then my favorite part which is our little tree how cute does that look? I love it. We didn't buy like a... Oh, there's a gift down there. Oh, two gifts. I wonder who they're for. Anyway, we didn't buy a tree skirt. I was going to, but then I remember that last year I just used this blanket and it just looked fine because tree skirts are like incredibly expensive. But this is the tree. Um, but yeah, I think that looks good. We are going to try to put some lights up outside. We'll see. But... Now I'm gonna look to see what I can make for dinner. I haven't been here in like so long. Well, I mean, I was here last night, but before last night, like I wasn't here for a hot minute because I went to Denver and I was in Denver for a few days. All right, so here's the current situation. I'm gonna turn that down before I get copyrighted. And I decided not to cook. I know it's very lazy of me, but I decided to just, um, bake a pizza that i already had in the freezer here's what it looks like wow excited for this is an understatement to be truthfully honest with you guys i ever since i moved into this house like i have not been wanting to cook a whole lot and i think i know the reason why and that's because whenever i moved whenever i lived with my sister abby well this summer like we would always like cook together and stuff but like whenever I moved um, on my own, um, I mean, I have roommates, but it's like, I don't live with Emmy anymore. I don't live with any family members. So really like whenever I cook, I just cook for myself. And I, it just doesn't sound that fun. Like, does anyone else struggle with that? I just like rather just eat whatever or something that's easy. And so I still eat at home quite a bit, but I also eat out a lot as well. Um, but it's either with like friends or or like church or something. But anyway, I want to get better at it. I want to be able to cook like smaller meals for myself and just be motivated to cook to cook just for myself. But it's just a little lame, you know. 
Anyway, we're gonna see what this pizza is about. I'm gonna show you guys the box. All right, I hope you guys can see it. This is what the box looks like. It's from Trader Joe's. I have never tried it before, but it is um, barbecue chicken pizza topped with barbecue sauce, chicken, mozzarella, gouda, gouda, cheese, and red onions. So it looks fantastic. Let me show you guys. Here it is. I hope it's as fantastic as it looks. And now I'm gonna just watch a movie and chill for the rest of the night. All right, so I wasn't gonna vlog anymore, but this pizza, you guys, 110% recommend. You should definitely get it. So, so yummy. I'm gonna finish all of it in one sitting. I already know. <laughs> Hi guys, it's another day. So it was ugly sweater day at school today and this is a cute sweater I wanted to show you guys because I'm really proud of it. I got it from Plato's Closet, um, which if you don't know, it's a secondhand store. And it was only $8 and it was amazing. It's amazing. It's super comfy. I love it. Um, the only bad part is that when I bought it, I didn't realize it had um, it lit up. And so um, when I bought it, I was like, okay, no problem. Like I'll just throw in the wash and then... Um, I realized that it has lights everywhere and I can't wash it. So the gross part about this is that I didn't actually wash it. I just sprayed the downy spray on it and then just made it smell good. So it's a little gross. I've never done that before, like worn something that was just store bought from a secondhand store. But anyway, it was worth it. Today was ugly sweater and my kids looked so adorable. Um, I am one second. I did not go to the gym today because I knew, oh, it was so dark in here, um, because I knew that I wanted to edit a video and I feel like I haven't been able to edit. And so I'm going to do that right now. I'm turning stuff on right now. Okay, so I'm going to edit a video for you guys. I'm excited because it's just so hard to edit like during the week because I don't have good internet which is why I haven't been posting as much. I think I included that in one of my Instagram stories. And also I just don't have a whole lot of time. Like I just, my time management just sucks this semester or ever since I um, like moved into another state. So um, yeah, my time management is just not very good, but I've been trying to work on it. So we're gonna edit, by the way, this backpack, I've never, I never actually did a what's in my teacher backpack video, but if you guys want to know, if you're still interested, let me know because I completely like spaced that and I just never got to it. So let me know. I'm hungry. I think I'm going to eat. Ooh, jicama. Jicama sounds so bomb right now. Jicama sticks are the best. I get them from Trader Joe's and I usually just sprinkle some pahin. On it i got this one a couple of days ago so i think that's what i'm gonna do i don't want to eat like something for dinner because or like something like heavy because i'm gonna eat dinner later with a friend so gonna add some tahine if you guys have never had tahine you are missing out just sprinkle this over like literally any uh fruit and it's the best snack so let's get to editing i cannot wait because I just love editing sometimes. I have a, a love-hate relationship with editing videos. I'm very impatient, so I try to be really fast, um, but I also know that I wanna be, like do a good job at it. So yeah, um, today was great. It was a great day. I've had like a little migraine. Um, I think like it's just a little tiny headache in the back of my head that's just like staying there day after day after day. And yesterday when I went to the gym, it was awful like I went down like this and it was like my head just was spinning and so I was like oh my gosh I'm not gonna go to the gym today I'm just gonna edit and then we'll see how I feel tomorrow I'm just gonna talk for a second Wait, okay I have to look at the so just look at <laughs> okay. look at here yeah don't look over there because <laughs> okay wait let me put my stuff down <laughs> All right, guys, so I just did a whole outfit change. Oh my gosh, <laughs> time out, time out. Okay, guys, so I did a whole outfit change because I just wanted to be comfy. But here's Ashley. You Hi. guys have never met her before. This is my roommate. And every time I want to vlog her, she's not here. So yeah, she's she. you can tell them. Introduce yourself. I am a full-time student, and I work at a hospital. 
And I think that's everything about me. <laughs> Going to school but for you're architecture. Not, yeah, I was going to say, you're not just a student. Like, <laughs> she's an architecture major, and she's just crazy busy, stressed all the time. But she's finishing up this semester, so yes. very excited cool. about that, <laughs> finally. Yes. But anyway, so her and I are, we're planning on making a video together yes. <laughs> after she's not super busy anymore. Um, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, anything yeah. else you want to share with them? No, that's <laughs> it, I think. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and edit. I just wanted to show you guys my Hamaika or Hikama sticks, not Hamaika, Hikama sticks. Don't judge me. I know a lot of you guys are haters and don't like the heen, but try it before you judge me. I'm dumping this <laughs> She's eating. No, one it's going down the drain. <laughs> She's eating one week old avocado. Look at that. That Quit. looks like. Never mind. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> She's no. like, if I get sick, I get sick. <laughs> she thinks it still smells fresh. I'm in survival mode. <laughs> what a, what being a college student is like. <laughs> the struggle. Really is. <laughs> Good morning guys so it is the next day and i'm looking very festive um we're doing the 12 days of, Chris of christmas um before break and so we are doing today's hat day yesterday was ugly sweater and i'm here in my classroom i am just grading some papers but i wanted to show you guys my calendar because it looks pretty great my students are in pe right now and it's been a good day honestly like Right now, I'm just like really, really happy. Like this time of year makes me really happy. I know to a lot of people it's not, like it doesn't make them as happy. And so, um, like I understand that, but like I um, challenge you guys to see life in just the best way possible, be positive about everything. Even if this is a hard season for you, try to just um, make it the best because really life is what you make it. And um, thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys my calendar. My students are super excited. I think I showed you guys like our little tree, but I don't think I showed you guys like decorated and everything like that. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And also, do you guys see this little tree? I got this tree from um, a set of twins in my class and they are so cute. I was so happy whenever they gave me that tree, but I was thinking like, how am I going to keep, keep this alive? Like I've never owned a tree before <laughs> and I do not have a green thumb so anyway here is our little like Christmas corner type thing here is our tree it's looking cute I already have um, a little gift from a student they are just the best my students are constantly giving me gifts and I love them for it like they definitely don't have to but they're super cute a student this morning gave me this little cup with a bunch of goodies so it's this little mug. It has a bath bomb, um, hot chocolate, lotion, and then a little chocolate bar. Just the best. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. Here's my calendar. Here is what my calendar is looking like. It's super full, but it's very fun. Um, tomorrow is holiday sock day. Can't wait for that. Um, we're also doing these little lights for like the school-wide bulletin board um, and we're writing things about kindness so I love it by the way here's my finished room I don't think I've ever showed you guys what it ended up looking like so this is what it looks like I just have a couple of things like just not organized but for the most part it looks pretty good and then here's the money that they've paid me some of them paid me to have lunch with me I charge $50 for lunch with me so I have like a group of kids that are um, having lunch with me. Cannot wait. Also, I'm using these stickers. These stickers for all month, all the month of December um, to uh, whenever I get grade my students' um, papers. And they love stickers. Like elementary schoolers love stickers. You might not think it's a big deal. So if you are a teacher and you don't use stickers yet, I highly, highly suggest that you use them. I even put stickers on them even if they get like five out of seven answers wrong because I still like to celebrate them for the answers they got right. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. 
All right, so I also wanted to show you guys what I've been doing in my classroom every day. I've been playing um, the Kids Pop Christmas playlist on Spotify um, in my classroom just because I my kids love listening to Christmas music and I just it just keeps the room fun and you know um, into the Christmas spirit I guess and then another thing I've been using is the classroom screen which if you don't know about it it's amazing you can set up a bunch of there's a bunch of gadgets you can do sound level dice random name picking draw text work symbols a timer which is what I mainly use it for and then you can pick different backgrounds so I highly suggest that you guys go and do that because it helps me so much I always display this on the board right now it has a little like chimney in the back so it makes my room look so cozy here's what the room looks like and I just love the feel of it especially when my kids come back from related arts because they I have Christmas music playing and then they see the fireplace and it's just the best so I highly recommend that it's not sponsored at all but I use it like every single day so what I was doing just now is I was writing the names of all my students and in little tiny pieces of paper and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have them draw names either tomorrow or today or tomorrow and we're gonna do a secret Santa so I've done it in the past um, I didn't do it last year because we had we were I think we had to be sent home and I think that's why I didn't do it I don't remember actually um, but I think it, we had to be sent home because of COVID. Anyway, so I've done it before and it has worked like a charm. It is amazing and it is so much fun for the kids. I usually do like a $5 limit and they bring their gifts. We exchange them. It is so much fun. So I'm going to do it this year. We'll, we'll see how it goes. So we're going to draw names. They're going to tell me their name. I'm going to write, write it down. And then whoever can't bring a gift like... I usually just have extras for those kids just in case and so yeah so much fun we'll do that at our christmas party which will be the last day before um christmas break so the 22nd i believe so yeah can't wait for that <laughs> 